Well, tonight, for the first time, a good Samaritan who came between a woman and her abusive boyfriend is talking to 3TV after being shot. This happened in Tempe near McClintock and Elliott. And our Steve Ryan joins us live now. And Steve, I, I find it interesting that he says he'd do this all over again. He would, Fields, amid recovering from very serious injuries. He was shot one time, but compounding the problem was the damage the bullet did. You see, it was a 40 caliber, so when it went into his leg, it fragmented. All these little pieces of shrapnel shredding bone and tissue alike before exiting his leg. He's got a long road to recovery, a journey he'll take while the man accused of shooting him sits in the custody of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. If someone's pointing a gun at you, you know, you're, you're scared to death. When fright turns to reality, the verge of death. I was pleading, you know, for my life, please don't shoot me like you'd see in the movies. Many people might shy away from do-gooding afterwards, but not Brian Doyle. It's second nature to me. You know, I wouldn't think twice. See someone that's in trouble, you know, you want to help them. That's exactly what Ryan did in mid-November. He confronted a man who was beating a woman in his neighborhood in Tempe. The man didn't like it, pulled a 40 caliber revolver. I guess the kid had hollow points. Chased Ryan down and shot him in the leg, tearing his femoral artery. The blood was pouring out like, like your, you know, water faucet. His leg almost had to be amputated. Two months later, the Good Samaritan spirits are good, but his health, albeit improving, still not so good. They said, I'm never going to be able to dance or snowboard or ski or hike or run again. Um, but, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove him wrong. He tried to kill me, you know. Um, I think he should do a, a minimum of, you know, 10, 15 years. He, being Jeremy Cartwright, arrested for the shooting, charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. As for the suspect, police say he was caught in a backyard shortly after the shooting, and he's only 21 years old. Reporting live, I'm Steve Ryan, 3TV.